Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Howe and I'm here to basically help remove the confusion around Zero Trust. To do this, I'm gonna spend some time reading through some posts uh, and some questions on both Twitter and Reddit and then hopefully giving some answers and, and, and perspective on what these are, these posters are asking. So let's get started. All right, the first post is coming in from Reddit and the comment here is basically pretty accurate. And the question basically goes like this. It strikes me as particularly airhead choice buzzword. Fair point. Uh, at some point you have to trust someone. You have to trust yourself to set things up right, if nothing else. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's almost, almost doubling down on the fact that there is nothing, but you have to have something to get it going. But the naming does add some confusion. So we need to think of zero trust in terms of what it is. You start with nothing, and you have to build up trust from there. That's where the name zero trust originates, but really it means least privilege. The commenter also adds a piece around uh, questioning everything, but trust no one. And I think that's exactly the idea of this. Zero trust really is the idea of trusting nobody and then building out a layer of steps to validate and check everything as you go from zero to hero. Uh. I like this one as well. This says, I don't trust this zero trust idea. It's fantastic. Well, and honestly, you shouldn't. Zero trust, again, whilst it is a buzz phrase, is an all-encompassing term for everything related to trying to implement a minimal access path. You know, companies like uh, manufacturers of MFA or multi-factor authentication or single sign-on, all of these, these platforms talk about being involved with Zero Trust. They may even claim to be a Zero Trust platform, but it's not all or one. You can't have authentication and not have the network path. You can't have the network controls and security controls and not have authentication. These all have to work together. So Zero Trust is not about one platform. Zero Trust is about a strategy, a theory, a foundation work to be able to build out the real way of working and protecting your infrastructure. All right, I'm gonna go on to another one is, don't trust an organization that hires an outside agency to write their zero trust content. That is true marketing buzzwords. It's interesting. Um, look, you know, you can read zero trust. If you do a, an internet search for zero trust, you're gonna find a thousand articles and, play, and posts out there, quite a few from me as well. Um, but the key here is to look beyond the buzzword and actually look at what it really means. And I'll always break it down into really three main points. The first one is it's about implementing the old way of trusted computing, which was least privilege. That's number one. Number two is how do you provide and how you do it is by providing granular user access to applications. The third piece, and this is kind of the hardest part for a lot of the, the, the customers we deal with, a lot of companies we deal with, as well as a lot of the vendors out there to fully get their head around. Zero trust is not about a network. Network is an underlay. It is the pipe that gets you across the street. It is the street, essentially. So understanding how you deploy zero trust or how you go about, go about zero trust really comes down to those three things, which is least privilege, users to application path access, and no network that you need to pin a user to or application to. You can move away from the traditional, I need to be inside the walls of my building in order to get access and be anywhere, which is pretty much what the world is doing now anyway. All right, I think we've come to a really natural ending there. Um, look, I'd like to thank everybody for your questions. Um, and actually, honestly, should you have any further questions or comments, don't be afraid to ask them in the comments below and I will uh, maybe include you in the next episode. So with that being said, once again, thank you everybody. I've been Nathan Howe. It's been a real pleasure and I look forward to doing this again with you all. So see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.